So in continuing with our exploration of the elements, today we are going to do a yoga class devoted to earth. And we're actually gonna start in a standing position. So you can find yourself in mountain pose with the feet hip width apart to start with. And we're gonna sense our groundedness. Okay, so creating a little tension in the core of your body. You want to make sure that your pelvis is in neutral position to support the spine. You can let your feet, toes lift up and then you can spread your toes and sink them deep into the earth here. Relaxing the knees a little bit we want to feel into the edges of the feet so you can just gently move front to back. Breathing, sensing the weight of the arms and the shoulders. You could let the hands relax down by the sides of the body. Turn this up just a little bit. Finding a way to be in stillness, we're going to begin our breathing exercise, our pranayama. So we're going to take the energy up on the inhale. Hands could come up and then exhale back down. So breath up the front of the body. Exhale back down. And as you do this, you want to stay connected to the feet. If you like, you can envision rolling a stone up your belly on the inhalation. And you can even get the knees and the spine involved in this. Head can come forward to the chest. Inhale up through the nose. Exhale down. One more time, deep. Coming back to center, we're going to take our feet out just a little bit, coming into a wider stance to support the body. You could bring your toes in and your heels out, and we're going to keep our knees nice and relaxed. And I want you to reconnect with the earth. You can feel the stability of your base, maybe reaching down and sensing your roots. Close your eyes. And this time on the inhale, we're going to breathe up without the hands and then exhale back down. So just closing your eyes or keeping a soft gaze. Notice the energy coming up through the roots on the inhalation. And on the exhalation, energy moving down. from the earth and then placing it back down through the bottoms of your feet. And you 
you can hold it here if you like, or you can turn your head over to the left, chin to chest, and bring it down through center. Turning the other way, you can look up a little bit, and then exhale forward. Half moon. You can think of the moon as rock, celestial dust. can feel into your bones. One more time, half moon. And bring your head back to center. This time we're gonna turn the toes out. And we're going to bring the arms up, a little goddess pose rooting down, exhale, and then inhale up. Since your fingers spread wide, exhale down. Knees tracking over the ankles. You could come to your depth. Warming up the body. Exhale down, inhale. And let's hold it down, sensing the root. You might even want to take it a little bit further. You want to make sure that your tail is tucked and see if you can sense oops, the root down into the earth. Hands in your mudra, heart mudra, mudra anjali mudra. You could press into the hands. Breathe deeply. Let's take a deep breath in and let the arms and the legs rise. Bringing it back to center. You could toe heel your feet back underneath. Heel of the hand down. Energy down. You could hug your arm bones into the sides of your body. Start to feel the heat we're generating in the body. And then relax your hands. Let the fingers just move a little bit. You could wiggle the fingers and sense gravity here. Alignment between earth and sky of the spine. Now, we're gonna bring our hands into fists and let's bring our elbows into the sides of the body. So just hold it here nice and strong. You can squeeze or it can be gentle fist energy. Oh, stomping on the back of the earth. And breathe. Sensing the aliveness of the earth. So we're going to pulse here a little bit from front to back. So it looks like this. Pulse. The pulse. The began to vanish. We heard. Bending your knees. A message. Pressing up. Side front to back. Sensing the groundedness, the firmness, and yet the aliveness, the soil breeze. Now let's take it a little wider and to the left. So left and right. Left. Yeah. 
my body shifts. Little twist of the spine. You could watch the hand as it comes across the front of the body. Spread the fingers. You could watch the hand move through the space. Sense the space around your bones. Your own natural time. Begin to walk the feet in, taking the arms a little smaller. Let's bring it here. We're going to do our side bends. So let's take our arms up. I want you to grab your wrist and then side bend that side of the body, opening up the left. Bringing it back through center, grab the wrist. You're using your fingers to wrap around and to pull the side body gently. Okay, bringing you back through center. Hands come down. Spread the fingers. Okay, we're going to step to the front of your mat. We're going to do a forward fold. So you could bring your hands up, hands in front of the heart, bend the knees. It could be a straight back down. Let your body relax forward, sensing gravity. You can always keep your knees bent. Let your head release into the earth, top of the head towards the earth. You can bring your hands to rest on opposite elbows. Let your body drape forward. Now we're going to bring our hands to our shins and see if you can reach the crown of the head forward. Feeling that energetic line from your tail all the way to the top of your head. Hands nice and strong. Take a deep breath in and then forward folds. We're going to find a way to get our hands to the floor. So if you need to deeply bend your knees, you can go ahead and do that. We're going to step the right foot back the left foot back and come into your downward dog. Spread your fingers, pressing all 10 digits into the earth. Now let's come forward, plank position. You can always drop your knees right away, pressing them out away. Breathe here, feel nice and strong strong and solid. Let's bring our knees down and we're going to come back and into child's pose. You can sink your heels back or your hips back towards your heels and then bring the hand if you like over the top of the head. Sensing forehead to the ground. Tapping in to your breath. Okay, let's bring our hands down. 
We're going to bring our hands underneath the shoulders. We're going to come into all fours for spinal balance. So you could take one leg back. You could leave that foot on the floor, fall a foot, balancing, and then the other arm comes out. If you like, you can lift the back leg. Gaze is down. Breathe. Let's bring the hand down, and we're going to take that leg forward between the hands. We're going to stay nice and close into the body. We're going to bring the left hand to the outside of the knee and reach the arm back, looking behind, opening up that shoulder. Bring it back to center. We're going to do the other side, starting with spinal balance. Left leg can come back. Balancing, spreading your fingers so you have a nice, solid foundation. You could lift, pull your low belly in, breathe. Let's bring the hand down. Let's step that leg forward. Hand to the outside of the leg. Reach the opposite arm back. You can look behind. This is a balance pose, so find something to look at. Take a deep breath in. Let's bring it back to center and bring our leg back. We're going to sit back on our heels or come up onto your knees. Interlace the hands back behind the body. Engage your core and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Hip look up. center. Bring your hands back down. We're going to do uh, a um, um, side plank kneeling. So let's take the left leg out. Left hand comes center, extending the right leg and open. If you like, you can balance here. It's kind of like balancing stones, finding just that right position. Bring it back to center. Let's try the other side. So taking that knee, that uh, shin out for a little bit of a kickstand, open. Positive tension, nice and strong. You could lift that back leg. Okay, let's bring it back down. Bring that knee back in, sitting back onto your heels. This time we're going to bring the hands in front of the heart and then turn them away. Feel your forearm bones rotating around each other. Now coming up, see if you can at some point push your shoulder blades down to get your arms to come straight up above the head. Relax your shoulder blades down. Gaze, relaxing the jaw. Take a deep breath in. We're going to bring it back to center, back down, and into our downward dog. Let's spread our fingers, curl our toes, lift the knees up and back. Walking the dog, one heel can come down, the other heel can come down.
Now we're gonna lift the right leg up and I want you to rotate the thigh out and look underneath your armpit. You can flex your foot. Now we're gonna bring that knee through center. We're gonna place the foot. You might need to move it a couple of times. You can turn that back foot and then come up and into warrior two. You can imagine yourself as a configuration, a rock, a stone, a mountain. Palm up, front hand, reach up and back. Keep the bend in that front leg. Reach, reach, reach. breath in. Let's bring it back to center. We're going to bring our hands together in front of our hearts and move the shoulders. You could use your blade of your hand to slice through, finding the gems within.
breathing. See if you can relax into this pose a little bit. Okay, let's find our way down. Belly onto the earth. You could bring your hands underneath and let your feet just windshield wiper side to side. This would be a good time to work on the connective tissue in your feet. Imagine symbols drawn into the cave wall, hieroglyphs. Sketching your form. Okay, to come out, we're gonna come out the same way we came in. So if you have your hand on your foot, you can release that. And then roll back nice and slow. Coming back, knee is still out. And then you can bring your knee in. And we're just gonna take our pelvis side to side just to reset. And then when you're ready, other leg comes out. 90 degree angles here. You can sit up nice and high or stay low. To come into our spinal twist, let's come low. Right arm or opposite arm comes here. We roll open. We could find that foot. Catch the tail, catch the cat's tail. Reposition our shoulders. You can look the opposite direction of your leg. Breathe here. See if you can breathe into the rib cage and relax a little bit deeper into your spinal twist. Slowly move. 
positions should be nice and slow in yoga class. Coming back to center and then letting your pelvis rock side to side just to release. Let's bring our hands underneath. We're going to take our hands out. So what I'd like you to do is press your fingertips into the earth. And this is really much more of a, just a back strengthener. So that my back body lifts. Sense that space open up in your armpit. Open up underneath your chest. down and can come underneath the shoulders let's press up and back you can sit back onto the heels or up like this palms up on the tops of your thighs you can visualize a journey through a landscape Hands. 
can still keep the leg bent, twist into it. Depressions in the stone, gathering treasure, water. And when you're ready, let's open our eyes. We're going to find our way onto our knees. So that we can extend one leg long. Let's start with the right leg. So extending the right leg and see if you can get the foot onto the ground. We're going to keep this tucked nice and tight so my knee is right over my hip. So I don't want my hip sticking out. I want it to be right in line. Hand can come down, right hand, and then extend the spine as you reach up and over. It's a side bend. This is gate pose. Breathe. Take a deep breath in. Move on the exhale. Move the arms back to center, leg comes in, other side. Really make this side long line. Left hand here, arm up and over. Spread your fingers, create the space. No hurries, no rushes, being present to the moment. Let's bring it back through center. Bring that leg back in. We're going to come over onto one hip. Feet come to the front. Cobbler's pose. So sitting nice and straight wherever you are, you can grab onto your shins, your ankles, or your toes, sitting up nice and straight. See if you can energetically connect your base of your spine to the earth, and then the top of your head to the sky, so it feels like you're growing taller. Creating space between the vertebrae. Let's release those feet. We're going to draw the right leg here. And we're going to bring the hands down and we're going to uh, 
come into like a fetal position, but ear to the earth and listen. And then other side, see if you can come feet together and then draw the feet in. So back through cobbler's position, rocking side to side and opening and closing. What would you hear if you could hear? Pressing into the earth and pushing away. Now next time we're gonna hold it. This is gonna be interesting. We're gonna bring the left hand to the back. Our feet are still kind of like this with the pelvis open. And then see if you can lift up. Breathe. Take a deep breath in, bring it back to center. Let's try the other side. And being curious. Oh, this is different. Bring it back down. Let's find our way onto our back bodies. Knees into the chest. Sense your bones being massaged by the earth. You could bring your feet up towards the sky, grabbing onto your shins, your ankles, or the bottoms of your feet. Knees stay wide. reclined, you can bring your soles of your feet together and press your knees away, sensing your spine being supported by the earth. Take a deep breath in, let's release those legs. We're going to bring them down. Let's walk the soles of the feet in close to your pelvis. Hands come down. Press the low back into the ground and then lift. Coming onto your chest. Keeping your head and neck nice and loose. You want to make sure that your thighs stay parallel and they're hip width apart. Feet are hip width apart. Now breathe into any minor discomfort. Breathe. See if you can soften the face and the head, the shoulders, the neck. You can always come down if you need to. See if you can really sustain finding solidity in the body. Shaking will happen here. You can bring your attention to the third eye, inner vision. One more deep breath in. Slowly, starting at the top of the spine, lower yourself down. Notice that moment where you can sink into the ground. Let's take our soles of our feet together, arms out, and just ride those waves of energy, of breath, 
of music. See how relaxed you can make your body? Just let those legs open up. together. Squeeze them together. You could take the right arm center and then bring the left arm underneath for eagle arms. You could lift your elbows up a little bit. This is eagle on the floor. Earth eagle, we'll call it. <laughs> Okay, let's unwind the arms, unwind the legs, and do the other side. Squeeze those thighs together. Left arm center, right arm underneath. Lift the elbows, press the shoulders away. We're going to take the hands to the back of our thighs, rolling, if you like, you can roll up, roll back a couple of times. And then when you're ready, coming center, crossing your legs, coming up. We're going to curl our toes, come back onto the balls of the feet, let your body just relax down. Okay, we're going to find our way into standing by pressing into the earth to rise. Oh. Let's tap the foot. Okay, rotate the thigh. You could use your arms. You could bend that supporting leg. Okay, when you're ready, let's take this leg across. Chair pose, hands could come to the heart. Flex this foot, sink. Gaze can be down, drishti. Find your gaze points. Okay, bring it back to center. Let's do the other side. Tap, tap. You can take it low into the supporting leg. Taking it here, C 
sinking the hips back as if you're sitting in a chair, flexing the foot. Okay, when you're ready, let's take it back up. Coming back into a wide-legged stance, turning the toes out. You can shift your body weight side to side. Coming down and into your goddess pose, you can take the arms wide and press the hands away. Breathe here. Take a deep breath in. Let's press to rise. Heel to the feet back in. Hands right here beside the body. Closing the eyes, rooting down through your base, relaxing your arms. Now let's just bring this into a little twist. You can bring one hand, just let the arms dangle. One arm to the front, one arm to the back. Looking. Notice when your arms just happen to touch your body. Rotation. Just let everything go. Okay, we're gonna make our way down to the floor. Remembering that we're going to close out the session, the yoga class today. You can stay where you are if you like. We're gonna bring our feet out just a little bit so they fall open. Hands, palms up. You can always bend your knees if you need to and pyramid them together. visualize ourselves. Maybe we are clay, soft. Maybe we can sink a little bit further in, releasing the tension we hold in our body. grains 